evening, everyone, and thank you for being here at the first Maddie's Institute webcast, Saving Lives with Antibody Titer Tests. I'm Dr. Lori Peek, the Director of Veterinary Programs for Maddie's Fund, and in a few minutes I'll be introducing our presenter tonight, Dr. Ronald Schultz. Before we begin, I'd like to just mention that if you're having problems with the connection or have any questions about the webcast, you can get help at, and you might want to write this down, event.on24.com forward slash view forward slash help. And I'll say that again, event.on24.com forward slash view forward slash help. Dr. Schultz will be taking a few questions this evening, which he'll probably answer at the end. You can send your questions in for consideration at any time during the presentation using the question and answer box in the lower left of your screen. Please keep your questions as brief as possible. And don't worry that we didn't get to it because every question will be added to the queue. We'll be sharing a number of links with you during the presentation. You can also find this information after the event by going to our website at www.maddiesinstitute.org. There are also a number of little images at the bottom of your webcast screen. These widgets will take you to a number of resources Dr. Schultz will mention during his presentation, as well as handouts, an outline of the presentation, and more. So please be sure and check these out. Now I'm honored to be introducing Dr. Ronald Schultz, who's one of the world's leading experts on veterinary vaccines, virology, and immunology. He is also chair of the Department of Pathobiological Sciences at the School of Veterinary Medicine at the University of Wisconsin, and was the first president of the American Association of Veterinary Immunologists, as well as a member of a number of veterinary vaccine task forces, including the American Animal Hospital Association's Canine Vaccine Task Force and the American Association of Feline Practitioners Feline Vaccine Task Force. Dr. Schultz also heads up the Maddie's Laboratory for Diagnosis and Prevention of Shelter Diseases at the University of Wisconsin, where he's putting his experience and his knowledge to work helping America's homeless dogs and cats. Building a partnership with veterinarians, both in private practice and research, is a very important part of the work we do at Maddie's Fund. We became the nation's largest funder of shelter medicine programs in colleges of veterinary medicine because we recognize that without a strong pool of veterinary professionals academically trained, to keep shelter animals healthy and rehabilitate those who are not, we would never get to our goal of saving all of our nation's healthy and treatable shelter dogs and cats. That's a very big goal, and it was inspired by a very small dog, Maddie. Maddie was a miniature schnauzer who brought so much unconditional love and joy to Maddie's fund founders, Dave and Cheryl Duffield, that they created a charitable foundation that would honor her by helping make this country a safe and loving place for all her kind. That's how Maddie's Fun was born, and Maddie's spirit continues to inspire us today. I want to thank Dr. Schultz and every one of you here this evening for being part of fulfilling the promise the Duffields made to Maddie. When you leave tonight, you'll have a powerful tool to help make the dream she inspired a reality. Dr. Schultz, welcome, and thank you so much for being here tonight. Thank you for making this possible, and thank you all in the audience for participating in this presentation on saving lives with antibody titers, and it will be focused entirely on the use of antibody titers in pet animals, in shelters, and uh, in breeding colonies alike. So we welcome you all, regardless of your affiliation. So what we would like to cover this evening, uh, it's a fairly ambitious schedule, so we're going to talk a bit about when a dog or a cat first gets its antibody. We're going to talk about types of antibodies, which are, of course, critically important for protection against disease. We're going to talk about active immunity, uh, passive immunity, what antibodies are dependent on, how to read and interpret an antibody titer. We're also uh, going to really focus on those tests that are currently available that you can use on site. So for those of you who are in shelter medicine, it's possible for you to do your test right on site, and we'll talk about that. It's possible for those who want to send samples into laboratories to have tests done but what's most important is to understand that all of these tests really provide us with an opportunity to determine whether or not an animal does have immunity to a particular virus 
uh, or bacteria. And we'll be focusing mainly on viruses this evening, main, and that's mainly because the tests are designed to look at important uh, viruses. So there are gold standard tests that are used to determine titers for vaccinal immunity. But in addition to that, we do have the on-site test, and there's quality assurance programs to make sure that these tests are working accurately, either on-site or in the laboratory. What we're also going to talk a bit about, but uh, we won't spend too much time on it because we don't have a lot of time, is what are the core canine and feline vaccines. And what we mean by core vaccines, they're the vaccines that every puppy and every kitten uh, should receive. And uh, these have been identified by and in the vaccine guidelines. So we will talk about those also because the titers that we'll be talking about are really to determine whether or not we have protective immunity to these core diseases that the vaccines are designed to prevent. Uh, and then we will have some uh, concluding information and on the subject.